Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. West Virginia Astronomy here. I'm Jonathan, and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, purchasing a new telescope and what people expect to see versus the reality. Um, a lot of people uh, get into this hobby um, and they, they look for a telescope and they see one with a big box with these beautiful pictures of nebulas and galaxies and um, all kinds of uh, real pretty pictures on the box and they buy the telescope thinking they're going to get home and go outside and look through the eyepiece and see these colorful things and that just simply is not the case and I'm sorry guys but that's just not reality um, the reality of the situation is um, these targets and stuff in space are so far away that by the time the light reaches our eyes um, all the color and everything is gone out of them so you, you're usually ended up with you usually end up seeing just a uh, kind of a grayish blob um, not a whole lot of detail now the bigger the scope uh, the more detail you can draw in maybe um, but it's still not going to be a colorful image that you see on the box because I want to be very clear about this guys that what you see on the box are long exposure astrophotography images and that's not what you see when you actually stick your eye to the to the eyepiece and it, it deters a lot of people away from this hobby and their telescope ends up in their closet and I just kind of want to put that out there for anybody thinking about you know trying to look around for a telescope um, I was, uh, I'll recommend the telescope I would go with and what I did start with and um, as long as you come into it knowing that and your expectations meet reality then you can keep growing and moving forward in this hobby but um, you come into it thinking you know you're gonna you're expecting to see something that took somebody 20 hours you know to go out and image um, you're going to be let down pretty quickly and hopefully this video just helps somebody out and um, you can skip that step of spending a lot of money that is unneeded and go straight to the goods so stick around guys and I'll show you what I did Okay, um, we're going to do a quick search here on the internet here. I went to Amazon.com and we're just going to take a look at a couple of different ads on here. Um, so as you can see here, these cheaper telescopes here, this one shows a picture of the moon here, um, which you can achieve that through that scope, so that's not very misleading, but like... Um, Here's an ad here, you can see the night sky behind it. Um, this is actually reality right here of what you will see through the telescope. Um, as we go down here, you can see here uh, a picture of Saturn is displayed here. Um, and you move on to this one and you can actually see some colorful Let's click on this one here. This is a $70 telescope. Um, it's rated four out of five stars. Um, it's ocular telescope for adults. Let's click on that. And let's look at these, these, the way they're advertising this telescope here. Um, it says for viewing the moon. Um, okay. Now we'll look at this. Now, here's where it starts to get misleading here. Um, if you look here, um, it shows these right here, these images, which that's just not the case, guys. Um, you will never see that through a telescope. That's always through long exposure astrophotography. And I think these are actually even these are just faked images here. Um, you just can't get that without having like a Hubble telescope or something like that. Um, now, this this advertised that with this phone adapter, you can hook it to the eyepiece and 
this is the image that you will you will be able to capture um, um, let's look at some other ones here let's look at this one here's one for 115 uh, it's rated four out of five stars a 70 millimeter okay and this one shows the moon there with the cell phone too and you see how they just they kind of target you by showing this you this beautiful background here um, this is a composite image here that somebody has photoshopped that background into this foreground here for the advertisement that's actually not what you see at night let's see if we can find another one here okay we'll go to this one here it's a Newtonian reflector um, it's rated uh, four and a half out of five stars 3.7 out of 5 stars. So let's click on it. Yeah, see that's another composite image here, guys. Um, they're very good at uh, making you believe that that's what you're going to see. Okay, so let's look at here's one with the display box. Um, you can see, guys, that that display box shows a real colorful space background um, and on the side of the box here I'm trying to zoom in there. Uh, on the side of the box here it shows a colorful nebula there um, can't really see it that good but it's very misleading um, into thinking that this is what you're gonna see here is an image of Jupiter here uh, now this is more um, this is more uh, a stack probably of a bunch of images um, that's about what you get when you stack about a thousand images um, and they just get clear the more images you stack and the, the better the seeing conditions determines really on how well of an image you're going to get here's what you expect to see through a telescope here here is the Pleiades star cluster and that's about what you're going to see through a telescope guys um, there's not going to be a whole lot of color in there um, perhaps like I said if you have a 8 12 or 16 inch Dobsonian um, you could possibly pull out a little bit of blue color in this um, okay so let's look at some other targets here here is Orion nebula through a telescope and I'd say that's uh, about an 8 inch telescope I'm not really sure but you can expect to kind of see that through an 8 inch to a 10 inch telescope the Orion Nebula you might see a little color in here but not not too much guys um, let's look at okay so here is here is the uh, pinwheel galaxy and this is what you would see through an eyepiece here are some images of Saturn uh, now to take pictures of planets, you have to take either a video, a long video, and you use stacking software to break that video down into individual frames. And then you tell the software to only stack like the best 40% of the video and you end up with an image like this. Um, this is not a single exposure. Um, this is taking a lot of time for somebody to to really bring out those the the Cassini division here in the rings of Saturn um, it just takes time guys and a lot of people don't realize that you know they're not going to see instantly what's on a box so here's another picture of Orion through an eyepiece here is the horsehead nebula it's not the same quality as what you see all over the internet and on astrophotography groups um, this is a hobby that uh, that takes some patience and time um, you're gonna want to learn how to stack images and how to uh, to use this software 
to improve uh, the quality of your images and there's all kinds of uh, tutorials on YouTube about um, how to go about stacking and uh, there's free software you can download um, there's actually free image processing software called GIMP and um, yeah so it, it just takes uh, patience time and and coming into it with the knowing that if I want if you want to uh, to get an image like on the box of the telescope you're going to have to eventually pursue long exposure astrophotography and for someone just wanting to get into visually observing and learning the night sky if they have a passion you know just for I've always wanted a telescope I would recommend a Dobsonian 8 inch um, I started out with the Zumel Z8 and I, I really spent like about a year with that telescope learning everything I could about the night sky um, just moving it around looking at different clusters and nebulas and stuff like that and it, it, it really helped me to to appreciate you know being outside and if you're wanting to get into uh, astrophotography don't make the mistake I did and just go ahead and buy a wide field refractor telescope make sure it's a apochromatic instead of an achromatic make sure that apo is at the beginning because anything less than an apo you're gonna have chromatic aberration which is uh, any bright objects you're gonna have this real purple hue or blue hue around it and some it doesn't bother some people but it annoys me and it's hard to process out and so yeah if you're wanting to get into astrophotography I'd go with the wide field refractor and maybe look into getting a, a star tracker or something like that with a uh, DSLR and it just takes time and patience guys and you know just save your money you, you'll get there eventually um, if I can do it anybody can do it um, but yeah hopefully this video helps somebody and um, yeah until next time guys clear skies